it's completely conversational in the situation where we're running hinges and we have a special tool. We've defined the special tool in the library and we've made a very short program, easy to build. It uh, allows you to program both absolute and incremental dimensions, the single hinge that we have from our print, and then repeat it uh, up to any number of times in the X, depending on our worksheet size, and any number of times repeating in the Y. So it simplifies programming. We really only have to program one part, and then it's a matter of telling the machine how many uh, parts in the X we want and their spacing, and then how many parts in the Y uh, and their spacing. So as you can see, the program is very compact uh, and uh, very simple and fast to make. Here we have a picture and a still of the fixture that we built to hold five hinges. Uh, these particular hinges are two inches wide in the Y by 24 inches in the X, have a series of holes, uh, round holes, 0.25 inches in diameter in one side of the hinge. So we have built a fixture to hold five, as I say, equal spacing between them, and wrote the program to program the first one, which is the one nearest the clamps we see there, and then repeat it five times in the Y axis. Here we have a picture of the uh, punching tool made especially for hinge work. The punching tool has the ability to move over the knuckle of the hinge without uh, deforming the knuckle or applying uh, smashing pressure to the knuckle. It only applies its stripping force around the punch at the exact site it's needed on the flange of the hinge. A little bit more about these uh, punches that I forgot to mention is that they are Trump style punches. This particular punch uh, was designed in such a way that we can rotate the ledge that we see here on the stripping plate uh, at zero or 90 degrees. So you could really orient these hinges in the fixture either in the, the length of the hinge running in the Y axis or the uh, length of the hinge running in the X axis. And you can change the tool uh, accordingly in just a matter of moments to uh, rotate the stripping uh, plate on the end of the punch. This is a shot of the punch and the way it's mounted in the machine itself. We only have one button to release the punch, and that's this button right here. It's very quick, easy. I push this button. The tool drops out. To replace the tool after it's out, I push it up until it snaps into place, and it's just a one-button tool change. Most tool changes can be uh, accomplished in, well, 10 to 15 seconds even by a novice user. This is a shot of the uh, punch uh, being run in automatic mode at about 25% speed. This is the first time through, so we want to take it kind of easy so we don't hurt anything and check the stripping action of the new tool. Here we go. We clamp the workpiece at this point. That was our clamps moving into position. The pin drops and we're ready to start.
there we are back at our load position. The program's finished running. Next, we're going to try it at uh, about 50% speed so you can see the difference between uh, very slow testing speed when you write a new program and then what normal production speed would uh, look like once you get your uh, fixturing build and your tooling proven out. We go to approximately 50% speed. back to our load position, the location pin pops up. Next we're going to try 100% speed just to see what it would look like once uh, we were confident in our tooling and our fixture to be able to locate the workpiece correctly. And here's what it looks like at 100% speed. machine has finished the program at approximately 100% speed. Uh, we hope this has been informative. Uh, really, it was an applications uh, engineering job more so than a, than a machine selection job. Uh, this particular one presented some problems in fixturing. Uh, excuse the welds on the fixture. These clips were welded in to hold the tab in place, but what I would recommend in designing a production fixture would be to uh, look in a car lane catalog and get a quick release toggle type uh, uh, hold down can be uh, operated by the operator and loaded uh, very quickly uh, and working on an eccentric it uh, holds the workpiece pretty solid although with our stripper we really apply no pressure either uh, up or down so to speak once the material has reached its position coordinate to punch a hole so really the fixture is only dragging the hinge around and once the control sees that the hinge is in place only then does it uh, make the punch hit if you have any questions regarding this project you can either reach Greg Hosley at 1-800-354-3737 or you can reach me John Bamel service manager at Boschert at Area code 614-580-0422. Again, we hope this uh, short little film has been informative, and if there's any questions that we can answer for you, please give us a call. Thank you.